Lily, the true story of a goober. Songbirds sang, a caterpillar's cocoon bloomed into a butterfly, and Daddy Longlegs crawled along the window sill. It was a sunny, warm day, and it was the worst day of my life. I had heard about shelters where homeless animals lived, but I never thought it could happen to me until the day I was dropped off at one. I never saw this one coming. What did I do that was so wrong to get kicked out of my house? Don't I have any say-so in this matter? This was not fair. Boy, oh boy, was I mad. People at the shelter were nice. They told me that sometimes people can't afford to keep pets, and some people become allergic, so they give their pets away or bring them to the shelter. They told me it wasn't my fault. The doc looked at my ears and gave me a shot. Ouch! That hurt! When they went to the back room, I heard them talking about how sad it is that so many dogs and cats are brought to the shelter and have no home. But why me? I tried to be a good dog. The shelter workers had a party to invite people to adopt a pet. There must be zillions of homeless pets in shelters waiting for a loving home. Forty-six dogs and cats were adopted that day. I was one of them. I was glad to be adopted, but I was still mad. I was happy, sad, and mad all at the same time. Happy that I was adopted. Sad that I didn't have any of my favorite toys or my favorite shoe bin with me. Mad because I was given away. Dogs have feelings, you know. This bites. My new home was nice. There were no rules about jumping up on the couch or anything like that, and I had my own doggy bed. But I was still mad. The first three days, I hid under the bed. I snuck out to grab bites of food and drinks of water. But that was it. It's a scary feeling being in a new place. No familiar smells, nothing to call my own, and different food. I hope they know I'm a vegetarian. There were two other dogs in the house. They let me share their toys and bones. One of the dogs, Augie, squeezed under the bed with me. It was real nice of him to try and help me not to be scared. I like Augie. He's two years old and is now my younger brother. I hope he likes me too. The other dog, Zia, told me to be good and follow the rules. She wasn't being mean, just trying to help me. Zia is six years old and is now my older sister. I hope she likes me. I did what Zia told me and followed the rules, except I did not come when the people called me by my birth name. Since I was going to have a new life, I wanted a new name. My birth name was Sandy because of my sandy-colored fur coat. My person soon gave me a beautiful new name. Now my name is Lily. I'm still just a little bit mad, but that's not the end of the story. The person who adopted me is an author. She writes kids' books. Zia and Augie take turns going to book signings with her. They call themselves the Two Goobers. After three months of living in the household, it was my turn to earn the biscuit money. Zia and Augie took the day off. I put on the work uniform and off to work with my person. I went. We were selling books, posing for pictures, and meeting a lot of nice people. Everything was going well. When suddenly the loudest noise I've ever heard exploded through the air, I thought the sky was falling. It scared me, freaked me out. So I ran. My angel wings were flapping and my purple leash was dragging. Strangers stomped at my leash, trying to catch me, and that scared me even more. I ran faster and faster. I ran across the parking lot, down the path alongside the river, around the corner of some big office buildings, past two gigantic tower buildings, ducked into a double-decker parking garage, and under a car. I was safe, so I thought. What had I done? Would I ever get out of this mess? 
lying on the cold parking lot ground underneath the car, I thought about my home and how much I was loved by the people who adopted me. I thought about Zia and Augie and how sad they would be when I didn't come back home. We had so much fun playing, going on neighborhood walks, playtime at the dog park and strolls on the beach. Boy, oh boy, I messed up big time. I don't know my way home. I don't know how to cross the street, and I don't know how to hunt. It's beginning to get dark and cold, and I'm hungry. I heard footsteps walking around the car where I was hiding. I backed up as far as I could against the car wheel. I didn't want to go back to the cage at the animal shelter. Oh no! My purple leash was sticking out from underneath the car. I saw a hand reach for it, and then I felt a tug. Someone was pulling me from a hiding place by my purple leash. There was nothing I could do to stop it. As it turned out, it was a nice lady tugging on my leash. She found me, took me to her home, and took good care of me. She saw the lost dog sign on the internet, and she sent my person a message. And that's how I found my way home again. I was the little angel dog with the purple leash, lost in the big city. I was found safe, and everyone was happy. The sky was gray, leaves fell from the trees, and the grass was brown. It was a rainy, chilly day, and it was the best day of my life. I was going home. I'm not mad anymore, and I'm not afraid. Best of all, I am loved. I am now an official goober. We are the three goobers. It's a wonderful life. And that's my story.